So do you expect that the referrals will be better than mailers? Yes. A thousand percent. Are you kidding? Mailers, how, what happens when you get mail that's junk? <laughs> well, you file it, of course. You throw it in the trash. But this is a different situation because people are home now. So don't you think they are spending a little more time looking at their mail or isn't that the case? No. Are you? Mm -hmm. Are you? Well, well, well oh, I do. most people, their screen time is up 40%. <laughs> you say whose home I was at. <laughs> when I get stuff like that in the mail, I don't even bring it home. I actually stand at the recycling bin in the post office. And if it doesn't have my bank on it or my mortgage company on it or a handwritten addressed to me envelope, it goes straight in the trash. So yeah, yeah. Here, here's again the problem. Let's say that even people didn't throw it in the trash. Remember what I said earlier about the slew of objections that you somehow have to overcome? I'm not saying you're not going to get any, but it's going to be less than 1% response, guaranteed. You're going to spend so much money doing that. Referrals are warm leads, you guys. There's belief. There's bandwagon effect. And it's somebody that they already know. Right? That is so much more powerful than getting another piece of mail that says, call now with lightning bolts on it. You might qualify for a free roof. It just doesn't work that well anymore. Right? So you have to be salesmen. Like, here's the thing that I want to really light a fire under your, your asses about is you guys eat what you kill. Okay? Salesmen, you're not really a real salesman if you're sitting at your office waiting for the phone to ring. Well, I guess if someone calls, I'll go and try to sell them a roof. You have to create leads. Okay? So take it upon yourselves right now to really take an active role in that. And referrals is the most proactive way that you can do it. But you can also be getting things like, like, for example, coal neighborhoods. Have you ever heard of that? Coal? Coal no, no. neighborhoods. C-O-L-E. It's a database. It's a system. And by the way, Hail Trace can do stuff like this too. So if you're not using stuff like that, look it up. But what they do is they can literally map out areas on, on the map that have, you can look for median income, house values, um, like size of roofs, all of that stuff can be in there. And it gives you contact information. You can get commercial and residential contact information, phone numbers, email addresses, and you can literally be telemarketing yourself. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. <laughs> I've got scripts in my advanced sales and supplement training program for doing telemarketing calls. But you can be doing that too and just saying, hey, you know, I really hate to bother you. I know this is kind of weird. Normally we would just come out and face-to-face -face meet with you and say, hey, your neighbor had damage. But we're not door knocking right now, obviously, you know, with the COVID-19 situation. But I'm looking at the map here. And there's a pretty darn good chance your building actually has quite a bit of hail damage. Um, can I send you some pictures of your neighbor like 300 feet away? Send a picture. It doesn't even have to be their actual neighbor, just somebody in the tip. Here's some pictures of the roofs out there. Like, have you had a free inspection yet? No? Well, tell you what, we're still working as much as we can. I know you guys probably are too, because we're an adaptive industry, right? We're just trying to figure out how to roll up the punches here. But I'm going to be coming out to that neck of the woods here between today and next Wednesday to do free inspections for people. I can hop up there, completely no contact, take some pictures, come down, let you know, hop on FaceTime, let you know what's going on. You guys can't sit and wait for leads to come in right now. Like that's what I'm going to be hard on everybody about because it's just not going to happen. Right. Right. Like that's the reality. Any, 